People, who's ready to step it up a notch? We are told a certain green light has a frequency of 6.626 times 10 to the 14 hertz. First thing you want to know is what is its wavelength? Easy enough. Speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. Speed of light is a constant 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Wavelength, I don't know. That's what we're solving for. That is the saddest lambda I've ever drawn. Times frequency, 6.26 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Algebra time, divide each side by 6.26 times 10 to the 14. Time for a calculator. Parentheses, 3.00, second E, 8, close parentheses, divide by, parentheses, 6.26, second E, 14, close parentheses, enter. The three significant figures, 4.79 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, is my wavelength. Boom, part A is finito. Part B, what is the energy of one photon of this light? Energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. Planck's constant 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds times our frequency 6.26 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Calculator time. 6.626 second E, negative 34, close parentheses. New parentheses, 6.26 second E, 14, close parentheses. Enter. My energy per photon to three significant figures, 4.15 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Boom. Okay, that's easy enough. Part C though is where it becomes a little tricky. Now we want the energy of one mole of photons in kilojoules per mole. Okay, so as I look to solve part C, the first thing I'm gonna do, 4.15 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per one photon. So not a whole lot of energy, 10 to the negative 19. Not very practical for us to work with. So if I recognize that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 photons in one mole, notice that I can get the amount of energy in a mole of photons. Calculator time. Multiply, 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 6.02, second E, 23, close parentheses, enter. I get 2.50 times 10 to the 5 joules per mole. Cancel, cancel. Joules per mole is what remains. So again, this is the amount of energy in joules per mole of photons. But we're asked for kilojoules, so one more step. 2.50 times 10 to the 5 joules per one mole times, this time I'm going to set up a conversion factor that will get joules to cancel out and leave me with kilojoules. In one kilojoule, there are a thousand joules. Cancel, cancel. Back to the calculator. Times one, divide by a thousand. Enter. So my final answer, 2.50 times 10 to the two kilojoules per mole. That's a doozy. You want to be comfortable with your dimensional analysis, getting units that you don't want to cancel out, leave you with the units that you do. Boom.